Estimating Stock Price Trends with Artificial Intelligence My name is Joe McVeary. I'm the editor of McVeryReport.com. First, a disclaimer. So we're going to try to develop some software tools to estimate stock price trends. We're going to use Java, a Java IDE, the Weka libraries from the University of Kaido, and some uh, stock analysis tools from TA Lib. And finally, in this video, I will show you how to download quote data from Yahoo Finance. Regarding Java, I am not going to cover the Java programming. I'll have to assume that you know how to use it and how to install it. As for a Java IDE, during these videos I will be using Eclipse, but there are several other useful and maybe better IDEs such as NetBeans and JEdit. Most importantly for this, uh, to follow the video, you will need to install two JAR files and the next two downloads and have them available for your Java environment. The first JAR file will be the Weka AI tools from the University of Hokkaido, uh, developed by their uh, computer science department over the past decade. If you're looking for a tutorial on Weka, I would recommend the Weka Massive Online course on YouTube with Professor Ian Witten. It's an excellent learning tool. I will cover most of the uh, Weka classifiers and briefly go over its front end, but in later classes we will strictly be using the Weka libraries from the Java code we will be writing. In the next video I will cover how to build an R file for these classifiers. R files are attribute re relation formatted files. Uh, that the Weka library requires. The second class file or jar file that we will need is from Tic Tac Tech called TALib. The libraries are freely available from TALib.org and they provide many useful technical analysis functions such as uh, move, several moving averages, MACD, Bollinger Bands, relative strength indicators and several of Williams functions. This uh, package was last updated in 2007. The libraries run in C, C++, Java, and others. And now we are going to briefly download some data from Yahoo to build our R files with. We, I'm going to use the uh, SPY ETF it's, which is the largest ETF available and we'll download all the data. First we go to Yahoo Finance uh, click on uh, SPY and then go to historical data. Most important thing we can do here in historical data is make sure that we get all of the data so click on the max button that's located there on the uh, page as I do it here. Historical data, click on the time period, click on max, press done, and then press apply. This will download a CSV, or I, I'm sorry, this then you press below the apply button press the download data button and that will open up a uh, from your browser the a, ability to save the CSV file containing the SPY data. In the next video I will cover building a Weka R file and running one classifier. <laughs>